mostly going to focus on um, because we have some repairs done today, we're not really focusing on the trains so much for right now. We're just going to take that off for the moment, um, plug in the glue gun, and get some tools on. I know it's a little different video, but I want to try to get some things done just to line up with the correct piece. I think Go. And then we're just going to have to chop that piece in half to connect to it. When that one things warms up, we're going to have to put that half onto the end there. Maybe the whole is this size of this hole, it's supposed to be a quarter inch thick, quarter inch wide. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we can have a quick peek and see. So it needs to be about that length. <coughs> so it's going to have to be reasonable size then. Just take those off. So it's going to have to be, wow, that's going to be small. Hmm. Maybe a little bit now. I have to make it a little bit now. Let me have a look. Maybe put it inside of that one. Yeah. I think <coughs> that thing has to be. It's gonna have to be inside of that thing. Yeah, it's a lot more colder tonight, but... There. there we go. I'm going to have to put that inside of the little piece inside there. Which is not going to be easy, but I will just do it all. just got some sandpaper with the camera, so. Just waiting for the glue gun to warm up before I connect them. And then we can connect them really closely. Because it needs to be about, um, about that wide, so... 
you know, that's going to be that's going to be some challenge to put together. But I think that should be right. I think yeah, that should be fine. Just got to put a piece of connection to the other unit, then to the other carriage. It's got to be in line with the um, unit as well, so it's going to turn into a fixing video tonight, guys. <laughs> um, for those that probably were expecting, like, what? Where's the plane trains? Well, we can do more tomorrow. Um, I want to get the hang of fixing little things like this, so I know what I'm doing with this. This should be an easy fix anyway, but. Let me just put the camera down so you guys can see. So this locomotive's got the connection, it needs to be that small or something that close to make it fit in. You can connect it up like well I think something like that would be alright. That would be perfectly fine. Um so I would think maybe that probably will fit with that. But uh, yes. <laughs> uh, so much things to do. sewing out and uh, yes what I need to do is sort out the connection piece to connect to the other unit it's going to have to be connected like I think it's going to it's going to be sorted out in one piece but I don't know how long this is going to take guys I have to be honest but spare parts always come handy so that needs to be in line with where that piece was and that needs to be in line with that somehow and that's going to have to be snap in half well breaking half really to uh, connect and then we've just got to do one more for the train car and then hopefully for tonight we'll, we'll just give it as that really is that warm enough yet? Mm. it's getting close but it's really cool so let's do the carriage first And then we can sort of connect it to each other like that. We can push it in. And all I've got to do is pull the two together with a little hole. 
I think, yeah. I need to go quite far. I need to go into that one. Connect to that. Like that. Somehow. So I'm going to ask for the glue gun this time instead. So the solder now, which is, I'm going to have to find a way to connect those two pieces. Let's get this glove off. And then a little bit like that. And this stuff dries very quickly. But at the same time, this glue gets very hot very quickly too. You ask a night. How do you do it? It's simply honest guys. I'm gonna be completely honest. It takes some doing, but let me zoom in for you so you can see. Show you what I'm doing. It's next to the carriage, so you can just wiggle that in. And I think that has kinda of got it. Or is it not? Mm. Kind of, it's kind of grabbed it. The one thing I would recommend to be careful about when you're making your own couplings to the other units, especially if it's an old train or something that's broken a long time and you're trying to repair it, try to line up very carefully um, on wires. Things could go wrong very quickly. Um, if you want to be really careful about this to line it up otherwise if it doesn't line up correctly you could spend your brother up first time if you're not lining up properly and since I've got to have to re take all these screws out at some point which is not something I'm looking forward to if I'm completely honest it's not something I'm really keen on the idea but I'm gonna have to probably I don't know. I might have to see if I can be shaking out with the stone knife. And yes, I know it's not a summer's day, so I can have doors open or windows open. But it's just a simple way of me doing it right now because it saves me a job later in the day. 